Hello and welcome to the Born Again Boating YouTube channel. Today we will be going through the proper and most effective way to troubleshoot a rough running 225 Mercury Optimax. This process is extremely similar to almost all Optimax models. Hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. Make sure and ask us any questions you have in the comment section below and enjoy the video. Before getting started, make sure there is good clean fuel going to the engine. Then the first thing that you want to do when troubleshooting or servicing any Mercury Optimax is to split the bottom cowling. There are only four 5 16 inch bolts holding it together. Two in the back, one in the front outside here, and one in the front inside. Don't try and skip this, it will make this experience 100 times better. Also, be careful with the wires in the front here, then don't forget to disconnect the trim switch. Now we can carefully remove the spark plug wires and then the plugs. Pay close attention to what they look like and what cylinders they came out of. On certain models, a couple of the ignition coils will need to be removed to get them out. You'll need a spark tester and a remote starter switch for this, but we'll start by checking spark and compression. Compression is good to do while you are here, and between the spark plugs and the spark test, we can rule out half of the possible issues. We will need the key switch on for the spark test, but off for the compression test. And for this particular engine, the spark test reveals that two ignition coils are not firing properly. A quick test is to just swap whichever coil is not firing with one that is. This could be the problem, it's a very common issue. If not, we'll move on to the pressure tests. This is the air pressure valve and here's the fuel pressure valve. We need to see both of these pressures at the same time to accurately diagnose the issue. We are looking for the fuel pressure to be at 90 psi and the air pressure to be at 80 psi. Some Optis have a higher pressure at 110, but that 10 psi difference between the two is key. If the pressures are the same, then the tracker valve on the starboard rail is leaking and needs to be replaced. Remember that an Optimax has a fuel injector that shoots the 90 psi fuel into the 80 psi air and through the air injector. These two injectors work together to atomize the fuel into the cylinder. With the gauges on the engine and it idling, we can then pinch off this fuel hose here and see if the air pressure spikes. If it does, that's great. Then the same for this air dump line here. If it does, perfect. If not, then we know where we need to start testing. Like on this engine, if the air doesn't jump, then this usually indicates a weak air compressor. Air compressors are not cheap and you definitely want to get a professional to double check your diagnosis before spending the money and replacing it. It is important to understand that the fuel pressure is a little trickier because if the engine does not have the correct air pressure, then it will not produce the fuel pressure. Note also that there are fuel and air regulators on the port rail that regulate these pressures. If the spring or one of these fails, it can also cause the air pressure not to spike. Even a stuck open air injector can cause you issues and a misdiagnosis of the compressor. So make sure you know what the problem is before buying an air compressor. If you are trying to test this in your driveway, another test to perform is a drop test. Do this with the engine running and disconnecting a spark plug wire to determine which cylinder is not firing. You will hear and see the engine stutter when you do. If nothing changes, there's an issue with that cylinder. If you are suspecting an injector, remember that both of them are super expensive. So you can try swapping a suspect one with one of the others that are on that same fuel rail. These are your basic troubleshooting tests that can be performed and most of the time will show what is going on with the engine. Sorry we don't have time to go into depth on say cleaning the VST or starting issues. In most cases though this should be enough to get you going in the right direction to figure out what exactly you are looking at which is causing the poor running condition of your Opti. If you've got a specific question drop a comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more how to tutorials. <laughs> 